Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you to the Let's Play episode of Fatal Force, Tragedy of the Lone Wolf Arc. So, the last place we left off, we had just gotten freshly bitten by a werewolf, and we've been whisked away by some hunky wolf guys to their apartment, so let us see just how that turns out, shall we? Alright, let's get right into it. Good guess, it's actually smoked roast beef. You need some red meat to regain a lot of your lost blood, after all. So when I get a cut, I can just eat a piece of meat and be like, oh, I have healed. Wow, he seems fairly he seems fairly pretty wise. Seems familiar with my needs being in this condition. Maybe he's a doctor. Now, drink this. I take the cup from his outstretched hands and sip. Hmm, tastes like ginger juice. Not too hot either. That's good art. Finally, my eyesight started to clear up slightly. I finished drinking and hand back the empty cup to this person. Uh thank you. Uh You're welcome. Now lay back and take a rest. I can't help but just stare at him. I'm not quite sure how to process who or what I'm seeing. Am I dreaming? Am I already dead and up in heaven? Yeah, it's called werewolf heaven. Why are you staring at me like that? Now go on, lay back in bed. Y you, uh, you are... Cute wolf, yay! Ah, boy, this isn't good. Look, boy, just lay back in bed for now, all right? Pretend all this is just a bad dream. I should probably call her to cover this up. Yay, Lisa, yay! No, wait! I still had to confirm what my eyes were seeing for real. Because I was like, what the fuck? Are you a r real wolf? Like, a werewolf? From yesterday? Well, y y you see... That was technically a few nights ago. You've been out for two days straight since. And no, it wasn't me that attacked you that night, if you're wondering, obviously. What? I was asleep for two days straight? Well, he did mention that night, if I recall correctly, that werewolf that attacked me had dark brown fur. This guy, though, he has black and white fur, with a really interesting pattern on his face. I gathered my courage and continued to question him. Who are you, and where am I? Well, you're at my house. He let out a big sigh. Look, you need to go back to sleep, so... Sleep for what? So I can just forget all of this just happened? What are you trying to cover up? What are you trying to cover up, anyway? Answer me, you werewolf! <laughs> His ears are just twitching back and forth. His expression became worrisome. He took a huge breath and stared at me with concern in his eyes. Listen, boy, all you need to do is calm down. Calm down? Calm down? How am I supposed to calm down after whatever happened those few days ago? And oh, good heavens! Who the hell says good heavens? Now the moment I wake up from that, I'm face to face with another one. Are you kidding? I can feel my blood starting to boil. The rage was starting to build up inside me. Like, I really just want to... Oh, I don't know. I just want to crush something. I just want to destroy something right now. Without warning, the wolf suddenly laid his two fingers on my neck, as if he was feeling for some sort, some sort of pulse. Hey, shh. Calm down. We mean no harm, boy. Trust me. Zero, call, Mi call Mickey for me to come here. Oh, God. Aye, aye! <laughs> Zero was a small, chubby wolf. He ran off, leaving this black wolf and I alone together. The wolf's fingers were still on my neck. I could still feel that my heart was racing. What is this feeling? I stared at him for a while longer. He didn't feel like that much of a threat after all. I guess he's probably a good guy. I mean, he is trying to help me. You still think I'm gonna hurt you, huh? I mean, I don't know, but I mean, even if you, sh even if you would, what could I do? I can't move around like this. The wolf took his fingers off and smiled. True, but still, you need to rest, boy. Hey, I have a name, you know. It's Nary. That's damn right, I am Nary. Was never asking for your name, boy. Who the hell are you, Kratos? The black wolf chuckled. All right then, Mr. Wolfie. God, this dialogue is so silly. Hey, hey, calm down. I'm just playing around. My name's Draviar. Draviar? Sounds... It sounds Moscow. 
sounds Moscow. I don't know how to say it. I chuckled for a while. Javier's face showed some slight annoyance, though he then let out a smirk. Moscow is a city. I'm pretty sure you mean Russia. Do your homework, boy. His smirk showed it. I could feel he was starting to enjoy poking fun. So, Draviar, are you a good werewolf? Eh, I wouldn't say exactly so. I kill other werewolves. <laughs> tongue sticks out. Wait, what? Killing other werewolves? I couldn't really tell whether he was making a joke or not, but the tone of his voice is telling me he's probably not lying about that. You kill your own kind? Kinda. He answered briefly. I wasn't really sure what else to ask him. Nary, you really need to get back to sleep now. Yeah, yeah, I fucking wish, man. The insomnia I've been having. Why do you insist I go to sleep right after you had wanted me to wake up? He sighed and rubbed his hand against his muzzle, as if he wanted to say something, but couldn't quite find the words for it. Well, Zero told me you started talking your... So, uh, I wanted to check in on you to make sure you were fine. And, well, given that I now know you seem to be fine... I just think that you should really get back to sleep. I feel it isn't the real answer. Something still definitely seemed fishy. Are you still trying to play with me? Javier came closer and shoved me back onto the bed. It's already midnight, Nary. Look out the window. I only realized now that it was already completely dark. Oh. Suddenly I heard a slam at the door. What the fuck is this? It was another huge, beefy white werewolf, and he was wearing a black. He was wearing black boxers. <laughs> ah, Mickey! Finally, you've arrived. Okay, Draviar. I need a damn good reason for why you asked me, why you asked that silly zero to wake me up by chucking hot water on me. Uh, well, I mean, at least you're wide awake now. <laughs> that was not what I wanted. Oh. What are you saying O oh, for? Whatever. Nary, meet Mickey. We were the ones that found you at that place where that werewolf attacked you that night. They're both werewolves! Though there seems to be something weird about both of them. Yeah, my real name is John Michael. Mickey. But you can call me Mike or John. He looked at me with a simple grin. But I prefer Mickey, though. I couldn't help but let out a chuckle. Draviar really wants to defend his name pick. I look at Mickey and smile. Nice to meet you, Mickey. It seems that Mickey gets pretty annoyed whenever he gets called that. But he looks so cute and... The body. It's really gonna give me a nosebleed, especially because he's really only wearing boxers. Heh. <laughs> Mick, Mickey, I think you should probably head back to your room now. Huh? It seems your appearance is, uh... <clears throat> affecting this boy. His heart keeps on pumping harder than before. Ah, shit, I forgot wolves have good hearing. Damn, Draviar probably noticed I'm getting turned on with Mickey being half-naked, huh? Huh. <laughs> Alright, then. I mean, the dude seems to be fine. But... Are you gonna still sleep on the floor? My room is still open for you. He winked at Draviar. Nah, I'm fine. Good night, Mickey. Draviar shoes him off. I glance at Mickey. He doesn't seem to be really disappointed in any way. He returns a light chuckle to Draviar. <laughs> Oh, before that, I'm gonna do some night blessing. Night blessing? That's new. I never knew you were doing. Never knew you were doing a night blessing. I'm also curious about it too. Oh, well, here we go. What the? F ah, a blessing night. Such a blessing. It feels excellent and makes you feel floating in another world. The world of blessing night. Oh my god. Yeah, I love how this doesn't take itself too seriously. Hmm. The narrator. Ugh. <laughs> Grr. S sorry, ugh. That's so awkward. Still, I could hear Mickey chuckled. And he seems to enjoy it, even he received that punch from even though he received that punch from Javier. Such a weird guy. As Mickey left the room, Zero returned with a pillow and candy? Oh dear, Zero. How many times do I have to tell you to not lick candy before you sleep? Give me that. Oh. 
Zero's ears flop down as he returned with the candy to Draviar. They seem to have some sort of father and son relationship. Draviar? Yes, Nary? I only want to ask some kind of question, but it might sound a bit crazy. You're a werewolf, right? All three of you? Why didn't you turn back to your human form? Draviar stood up and walked off to the nearest cabinet. He pulled out another mattress, or at least what looks like a mattress topper. He laid the mattress next to the bed I was resting on. I could see Zero immediately jump onto it with his pillow. Yet, Draviar stayed completely silent. It seems he's ignored it completely. Hmm. Draviar turned off the light. The room was now dark, being only illuminated by the moonlight shining in from the outside. I could see Draviar sitting next to Zero, who was already fast asleep. He looked up at me, the moonlight reflecting in his eyes, giving them a vibrant golden glow as he gazed at me. It was a rather stunning sight. Please rest now, alright? I promise, tomorrow morning I will explain everything to you. His tone had calmed down significantly. He definitely meant it. But still, I'm not sure if I can sleep or not. I can't help but remember whatever happened those few days ago. It haunts me. What's wrong? Well, it's easy to tell me to sleep, but right now, I don't think I can even close my eyes. Shh, don't worry about it, Neri. No one can hurt you so long as I'm here. Everything is going to be just fine. I'm really not sure how to describe this the feeling I get from him. His voice was so soft and gentle. Well, other than his occasional growls. It makes me feel safe, I guess. Javier laid on his mattress and started yawning. I could see fangs become visible. Just like a real wolf. Good night, Draviar. Hmm, okay. It's... What the heck, he's already asleep? That's fast, like, so incredibly fast. This talk of sleep is just making me jealous. Ugh. Perhaps I should try and organize my thoughts and come up with a more organized set of questions. But yeah, he's right. I need to calm down. I've been rushing to find the answer to everything too frantically. Yeah, that might be a much better way of approaching this whole thing. Before I close my eyes, I look at him once more. He's real. He's the real deal. I mean, I haven't even seen people wear fursuits while sleeping in my in my life before. But here I am. He looks so wolf-like, and damn, he's really cute. I should enjoy this moment before I fall asleep. Hmm, a werewolf who cannot turn back to a human, huh? Sounds more like a beast man. But do beastmen exist as well? Transition. I could see light shining through the window. It's morning now. I was pretty groggy and my mind was hazy last night. I still don't know what day it is today, but at least my mind has cleared a bit. Jeez, no wonder Draviar kept on telling me to go back to sleep yesterday. My mind was an utter mess. I looked next to my bed. The mattress was already gone. Huh. Guess he and Zero wake up a lot earlier than me. Speaking of earlier, I'm still curious about what I asked him yesterday. I like to think I have some knowledge on werewolves from my experience. For most of the movies I watch and novels I read about, werewolves only shift into their werewolf form, into their wolf form in the night, and return back to being human during the day. No wonder he ignored my question yesterday. He's probably too shy to appear as a human. Wait. He did also tell me to forget it and pretend that it was just as bad as it was just a bad dream. Perhaps he was planning that all along. He'd tell me to go to sleep, then turn back to a human in the morning. Then, when I wake up, he could just say, Dude, we found you at blah blah. And they'd probably assume I was just I would just dismiss what I saw last night. Ah, that's sneaky. Ooh, you smell bad. Really bad. Well, it's probably because I didn't take a bath for the last few days, being I've been laying in bed the whole time. Eh? Zero. He's still in his wolfish form. What? Morning! He screamed in happiness. I love him. Zero, you're so cute. That's impossible. It's already daytime. How? I could hear a knock on the door. Zero quickly ran up to the door and yanked it open. Must be Draviar. Given that Zero is still a wolf, I wonder if Draviar is still in his wolf form. It seems he had a nice sleep, Nary. Yep, he's still in wolf form. I still can't believe it, though. Draviar brought a plate with a few slices of bread and a cup of hot chocolate. It feels so surreal for Draviar to just put it on my lap. I guess luxurious almost? Honorable? Well, the food isn't going to disappear on its own, you know. Um, what? Breakfast. He smiled at me gently. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, but like, I think I should go shower and brush my teeth first before I have breakfast. But Big Brother always bathing you when you were sleeping. What? I look back at Draviar. He seems a bit flustered. Wait, I just realized I'm not wearing the same clothes as the ones on the day I was about to buy that ticket. Oh, I need to stop remembering that night, damn it. Hold up. That also means that he was the one who changed my clothes while I was still in a coma, which means he saw me... naked. Ah! Alarm Chan! What timing you have? Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Fatal Four. I gotta say, I'm really, I'm really getting into it. I'm really enjoying this. I like the music. I like the characters. Um, the humor is, the humor is very well done. Dialogue actually seems like it's improved a bit from the, from my, the first uh, video I did. But anyway, guys, I just, I need you all to collectively hope and wish that I get some, some sleep tonight or soon at least. I'm just, uh, I've been having insomnia the past uh, past couple nights, and it's just been taking a toll on me. But, I'll keep bringing you guys content as long as I can, as long as I'm awake. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!